save it, no risk be required. And tonight I've got a, another chicken recipe for you. I've actually, I've got some chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken breasts in the fridge that I need to cook off. So I decided to do a, a chicken marinara. Now this is almost, I almost call this like a chicken Parmesan casserole type thing. We'll, we'll cook off the chicken breast, then I slice them thin, lay them out in a plan, pan, top them with some, uh, some of my fresh homemade ma uh, marinara sauce, a little bit of parma, not Parmesan cheese, a little bit of uh, mozzarella cheese. We bake it off in the oven until that cheese is ooey and gooey and absolutely wonderful. It's great to serve with a little bit of pasta, maybe a side salad. I think you're going to love it. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for our chicken marinara, I'm using chicken breasts. You can do this with other cuts of meat. And the first thing I want to do right now is show you actually how to bake off the chicken. Now I like to do this, um, this chicken baked. And uh, you know, baking is a pretty common technique that you're going to run. The key is you don't just take the chicken and throw it in like a 350 degree oven and hope for the best. We actually start it out on the stovetop with seasoning. I'm using salt and pepper. You can certainly use other spices if you want. Herbs, spices, all good, great stuff. But you want to get both sides at least well seasoned. You're always going to use salt and pepper. And uh, then I've got a pan heating up. I've also got my oven preheating to 400 degrees. We're going to sear these and then move them into the oven. Okay, so like I said, we're going to start baking our chicken actually on the stove top. I've got a pan here, good hot pan, a little bit of olive oil in there. And we're going to add our chicken breasts. Ideally, you want to lay them kind of close side of the pan and then down away. will prevent any oil from splashing. If it does splash, it'll splash that side, not this side. And um, the reason we're starting off the chicken on, um, on the stove top, even baked chicken like this, is to get a nice golden brown crust on um, the outside, which is more flavorful than um, a plain, flabby, white, blah crust. So I'm going to let this go for about two minutes on this side. Again, nice, good, hot flame. We'll flip it over and uh, do the other side. Okay, so even good high heat for two, three minutes. Your chicken's not going to burn. It's just going to get that nice golden brown color on it. We're going to flip it over. Do the same thing on this side um, for about two minutes. And then I'm going to move this into a preheated 400 degree oven. Okay, so I just killed the heat. And uh, just because our chicken is brown, I'm woo, on both sides now. Certainly does not mean it's cooked. It's still raw in the center, which is why we're going to bake it. But we've got this nice crust, which is going to be super flavorful. I'm going to pop it in the oven, and I want the internal temperature to reach at least 155. Then we'll pull it out. Okay, so my chicken has been in the oven for about eight minutes. Like I said, 400 degrees. Wash your tongs so you don't have uh, cross contamination. And um, essentially, your chicken's done. That's how we're going to bake a, uh, a chicken off. And again, the beauty is you get this outside crust, which is super tasty. And uh, frankly, the time savings, right? That took uh, maybe a total of 12, 18, 12, 15 minutes to get two chicken breasts fully cooked. If you just popped them in the oven, they would have taken much longer. Okay, so after our chicken is rested, I'm going to slice it up into kind of like half inch or thereabouts pieces. And um, what I'm going to do with these once I get it sliced, now the chicken also should be just kind of barely cooked. You, you want it cooked all the way through, that's why we brought it up to like 155. But um, we're going to cook it again, so you don't want it kind of well done or it could dry out on you. I'm going to take our chicken pieces and just kind of lay them right back down in the same pan that we cooked with so that they are, um, you know, slightly overlapping but not a big deal if they're just kind of barely touching. And I'm going to fill, as much as I can anyway, our pan. We're going to come back and hit this with um, a little bit of tomato sauce, a little bit of cheese. Okay, so we've got our chicken here. Now remember this is, um, it's now room temperature chicken and um, cold pan. I just, actually, I just put the pan back on the heat, kind of medium heat, just to get things started a little bit. I've got some Asiago cheese that I'm just going to flavor the chicken with. And then our marinara sauce that we made. I've actually made this before. Took it out of the freezer. It's one of the nice things about big sauces like this is they're great freezing food. You can pop it out, thaw it out, and then you're good to go in just like five, ten minutes. I'm going to cover my chicken with the sauce. It's probably three quarters of a cup of sauce. You want a good layer on there. And then our final topping is going to be kind of a handful of mozzarella cheese. If you had some fresh mozzarella, kind of dotting that around would be pretty awesome. 
And I've got my, uh, I had my oven preheated to like 400 degrees. I just flipped the broiler on. I'm gonna drop this in, let that cheese melt very quickly, because the chicken's already done. We don't want to overcook the chicken. We just want to melt the cheese, get kind of a nice brown crust on the top, and then uh, we'll pull it out and serve it. Okay, so it doesn't take long under the broiler to get that cheese melted and um, everything heated through. If, uh, if you need longer, just turn the broiler off, kind of move this down a little bit away, let it go for another five minutes. But like I said, shouldn't take long, and we are good to go with our chicken marinara. I'll see you next time on Know Our Spirit Required.